Hi, and welcome to the very last spring vlog of 2015 at RSPV Minsmere, and we're all very sad. We've been rambling around the reserve today for the last time, visiting all our favourite spots and saying goodbye to all our favourite birds. Um, but we have had an amazing week, haven't we, Elaine? Yes, it's been a fantastic week, a wonderful week. Great company and great food and most of all great birds. My favourite has got to be the Dartford Warbler, who gave us a very good showing and it was absolutely amazing being so elusive and also my R factor is the grey lag geese who we saw mum and dad with five babies in the middle playing trains across the water. <laughs> they were, they my R factor, I love them, yes. <laughs> How about you dad? Well I'm going up onto Western Common as well. Um, nearly to the end of our visit up there we Brownman and I spotted the um, yellow hammer, which we'd seen up there last year at the same spot, and we both spotted it at the same time. I think I was just in front. But, uh, <laughs> there you go. And then um, on the last day today, you know, just around East Hyde, um, it was my turn to spot something again. So it was the turnstone on the scrapes there and I had to get Brahman to uh, identify it as well. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe because I've got the scope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what were your favourites, Mum? Well, I'm not sure about favourites, but I think definitely worth a mention our friendly Chaffinch and Chetties that serenaded us the whole week, every time we went out. Continuous song, absolutely beautiful. Sometimes annoying when you're trying the to The Chaffinches film. are quite yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But really, really lovely. And also, um, I think my... My sort of favourite bird turned out over the week to be the red shank, who is so graceful and beautiful and I actually learned to identify its sound as well which was great so mm -hmm. I really love the red shank. Fantastic. Well I have to say I have a couple of favourite moments, um, one of which was filming the nightingale mm -hmm. just because it, having heard a few nightingales this week I never in my wildest dreams would imagine mm -hmm. we'd actually see one or have chance to get the camera out in time to capture it. So even though the footage was a bit blurry, I love that moment. I just felt so jubilant. Um, but also, uh, although we did see them last year, they're quite new birds for me, are the little terns, AKA the Stormtrooper Tern, um, which I absolutely love. Their markings, their kind of white um, eyebrows and their kind of black stripes. They just look so kind of sleek and, I don't know, very, very cute at the same time, <laughs> unlike stormtroopers. <laughs> um, as I said, the, today we've been out around the reserve um, making the most of the last day. Uh, we didn't see an awful lot of new species. We did have a bit of rain. Um, we were hunting for green woodpeckers, which we sort of saw. Uh, <laughs> but we did see a few nice yeah. things. So we're going to finish today's episode with a montage of our last memories of, of Minsmere. So we'll see you again, I'm sure, in another <laughs> sure. vlog somewhere on YouTube. Oh. Um, but until then, thank you all so much for watching yeah. and liking and commenting and just um, sharing some of the memories of our week. Um, we'll see you again. Bye for now. Bye. Bye. We're going off this morning because we really want to see a green woodpecker and a tree creeper and then we're going to end up in our favourite hide um, as we finish off instead of going in our favourite hide first. <laughs> very nearby so we've come up in the uh, tree canopy hide which we don't always go up because it's quite a lot of steps um, but it's maybe going to be worth it today who knows BBC aren't filming today so it's kind of like a ghost town here. We just spent a few minutes uh, overlooking a very common green woodpecker site over the grass below the Springwatch studio but no signs of any green woodpeckers yet. Except that we did just hear one in the woods. We didn't see it.
Uh, we've actually had some rain for the first time this week. Only light rain, um, and it didn't last very long, so we just had a lunch and watched a bit of the DVD about waders, because <laughs> that's what you do. And we've since come out again, continuing our hunt for the green woodpecker, and have just seen one fly over very briefly. We know it was because we heard it just before we saw it. Unfortunately, not good enough of you to capture on camera. We're also going to look for um, stone curly under the advice of um, a friendly RSPB staff member in the reception. He showed us where they are nesting or near where they're nesting. We're not supposed to go near where they're actually nesting. Well, we didn't find a stone curlew. We had a good look, but we did spy a red-legged partridge, which was very beautiful and well worth seeing. Probably much prettier than stone curlew anyway. We're just on the way home, which is very sad. Um, but on the way, we stopped at um, one of the places where we were walking yesterday and got out of the car and went and had a look across the field. And we saw bird number 99, which was a stone curlew, which is ridiculously exciting. It's the rarest bird we've seen all week. And oh, we just really didn't expect to see one. Um, and I got some footage, which you're not supposed to take footage or photographs of the birds when they're on the nest because they're in the schedule one list. Um, but because we were just seeing them out of the nesting area and they were running around feeding, it was fine. So we got some footage. Um, so we've just got one left to see and we're hoping to see a house sparrow. So here we are in um, Scots Hall West Wing and I thought I would show you a bit of behind the scenes of how we made Spring Vlog this year. Um, it's not what people normally do on a holiday, but we thought it would be a good way to remember the week as we've been here a few times before and it's, it feels like, you know, we belong here. So we thought we'd capture it. So I'm in the kitchen now, which you can kind of see if I show you around. And lovely view out across the grass, which I don't know if you can see. Through this door is uh, what our lounge, which this week has been our studio. And just inside the door, we've got um, an editing computer, which uh, I brought from home, crazy. That's where I've been sitting most evenings, editing in Premiere. Um, and then we've got these two sofas, and Mum and Elaine and Dad sitting on them. We've got some lights. And over here is the camera. Da -da -da. Live studio setup. And so we've just been kind of coming in of an evening and just writing a sort of a semi-script. Been using my laptop as a bit of an auto cue. Um, <laughs> sometimes some of it was improv. Then I would take the footage over immediately and cut it into the beginning of all the stuff that I filmed on this camera, which is the little Nikon um, vlog camera, which is what I use to film all of the wildlife shots. It's amazing. It's only um, a fairly cheap Coolpix little camera, but it's got an amazing zoom lens and some pretty good image stabilisation. So for filming wildlife, it's actually really good. Um, I felt a bit, you know, carrying it around alongside all these professional bird photographers with their gigantic Canon telephoto lenses. And there's me with my little Nikon. Um, but it's done a pretty good job, I think. Anyway, just thought it might be interesting for you to see that. 